guys how's it going welcome back to another episode of socal watch reviews i am miguel if you're new here welcome and please consider subscribing we're almost at 3,000 subscribers uh so please help us out we definitely want to want to get to 3,000 and exceed 3,000. but anyway today i am wearing my spinnaker spinnaker flues i did the review on this guy i will leave the link in the description below so what do we have here another spinnaker this is a craft and ombre green this was sent to the channel for free so please do keep that in mind i love collaborating with spinnaker they've been such an awesome brand to collaborate with packaging with these guys is always on point and i am excited to see what we got here so right off the bat we see uh something right here for a life beneath beyond uh for a life beneath beyond and beside the sea spinnaker Oh, look at that. Hi, Miguel. Please find and close your new Spinnaker timepiece. We hope that you really like it. Let us know how you get on with it. Uh, thank you from Shea, Shea and the Spinnaker team. That is very cool. That is super cool. Oh, that's nice. That is pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. I like when people send little personal notes like that, right? That's pretty cool. Packaging on Spinnaker watches is always on point. It's always really, really nice. So what do we have right here? We have a really cool piece, something different, something that I don't think uh, I would have uh, picked up or reviewed because it's something kind of completely out of my, I don't want to say comfort zone, but it's something something definitely different. But uh, I wanted to check this one out because that's what watch collecting is all about. You see something on paper, maybe you see a picture of something, and you're like, you know what, that's not for me. But that's not the case. So like I said, this is Croft in Ombre Green and here it is this is pretty cool this is how you activate your watch okay cool now if you're new to watch collecting that is one way of doing it but this movement is hackable and you could hand wind it it actually has a miyota 8218 automatic movement so let's go ahead and uh let's take off some of this plastic so uh bear with me for a second and we will get it Remove. All right, guys, so here it is. The watch looks absolutely beautiful. Now, Croft, why did they name it Croft? Well, they named it after Robert Croft. He was a U.S. Navy diver that in 1967 was actually the first human to free dive to the depth of 250 uh, feet. And uh, that is incredible for, for any human, especially for for uh, for 1967. But anyway, uh, I I really like the Spinnaker names their watches after uh, people because that's pretty cool. I I think that's very cool. But anyway, let's go into some of the specifications of this watch. We do find a case size of 43 millimeters. It has a lug to lug um, uh, width of 51 millimeters, a thickness of 14 millimeters, lug width is 22 millimeters, and it weighs in at 200 grams with the applied uh, bracelet now that is a little heavy but obviously once you size it it should go down a little bit more and it will probably weigh even less if you throw it on a leather strap rubber strap what have you now the case is entirely uh, you know finished uh, almost to perfection it looks really really nice let me clean it up there for you guys but on the side we do find the word spinnaker has been engraved and we find some brushing then some polishing on uh, some beautiful beveling right here and then we see some brushing on top the bracelet kind of matches the side is all brushed i didn't find any polishing on the bracelet but we'll talk about it in a minute but yeah the entire case looks really really nice uh very similar to the flues if uh, i made add a little different a little different this is a little rounder the the croft is a little bit rounder and but it looks very nice it's very vintage looking and you guys know that i do love me a vintage looking watch it's awesome now a sapphire crystal uh, with an anti-reflective coating i don't know what color i thought it was blue but i think it's clear i don't i don't see any kind of reflections on it we do see a cyclops very interesting very uh Rolexy, if I may add, uh, not something we find very often. It does magnify the the date a little bit. Uh, very nice, very clean. Maybe without it, it would have looked a little cleaner, but it's okay. It's cool. I don't have. I have uh, one watch I think in my collection with a with a cyclops, so it's cool to have another one. This dial. This dial does have what they call the ombre, or it's almost like a fume style, Actually, more like an ombre, because we see uh, dark in the bottom, then it goes to light on top, and it's like a 
a like an aqua green it's, it's very hard to describe but we do find applied indices throughout obviously some circles some rectangle rectangular rectangular um, uh, indices and in between some printed uh, minute markings is very clean very well executed spinnaker is always very impressive with the way that they finish their their watches and especially their dials i am always been very very impressed with that um we do find the the logo of spinnaker at the 12 o'clock the word automatic in 300 meters uh, around the seven o'clock and obviously the water resistance is in red it's pretty cool it actually does play very very well we do have a second uh hand by the four o'clock it's super cool very vintagey something that i i really like when i saw this and of course all the hands have been brushed and we see some breaks in between to show some of the loop o loom overall very well executed super clean very nice when the light hits it has this really cool effect to it and i think that's definitely the star of the show for me also something i forgot to mention about the sapphire crystal is that it's box check that out it's super cool super vintagey and we do find around the sapphire uh, crystal uh an aluminum bezel this is not ceramic i uh, really wish it was ceramic but i know they chose to go with aluminum just to give it that vintagey look it's a unidirectional 120 click very very responsive really zero back play and uh yeah it's pretty easy to rotate it has a coin edge bezel uh, very cool. I think this one has the same one. So they, they probably use the same bezel, but different bezel inserts uh, that they do with their other watches. Overall, it's pretty cool. Obviously, the bezel matches the color of the dial and there's stuff, different color variations to choose from. So go to their website, check it out. Uh, in back of the case, we do find a display case back. Now, I said before, obviously, this has a Miyota 8218 automatic movement, 42 hours of power reserve, 21 1600 vph minus 20 plus 40 seconds a day you know 21 joules now you can hand wind it but unfortunately and i know you said you can hack it you cannot hack it and i'll show you right here seconds hand is still going so for all the new uh collectors out there hacking basically means that when you put it in the second position it stops everything that way it could be super precision you know when when you put it uh next to your to your cell phone and you um set the time you could set it to the correct time to the second but unfortunately this keeps going uh nh movement is what they use in the flues i don't know why they chose to go with the miota uh but it's cool i mean it, it's a powerful movement it's a workhorse movement it's been tried and uh tested and uh yeah i don't have a problem with it to be honest with you just the hacking um you know for watches almost 400 dollars would have been nice to see an nh movement uh but overall i'm okay with it now let's talk about this bracelet now there is no polishing here it's all brush which is pretty cool because of that really cool tool aesthetic to it but it's pretty well constructed solid end links solid links pins to size the bracelet screws would have been cool but i know for the flues they did uh pins as well mill clasp proper mill clasp with the, the plain buckle right here now that you have the security buckle on top the word spinnaker has been engraved at the bottom of course you take it off and it has a double uh, button deployment here and overall uh looks very nice i think the the watch it looks very nice and uh also what they use for loom is super luminova uh it does last a little while obviously we don't see loom on the bezel only on the loom pip um not the best loom i've seen obviously i think the flues has better loom but again this is kind of a vintage uh, inspired watch and the fact that they're giving us super luminova it's pretty cool right it's it's uh, something that we kind of come to expect but it's not necessarily something companies uh, have to do there is some chinese loom out there that uh, a lot of companies like the pagani design uh use they claim that they use super luminova but i doubt it because believe me i have one in the collection and it just does not last as much as super luminova but uh yeah with that said my overall thoughts i really do like this watch uh, when i saw it on paper again this is not something that usually i would gravitate 
towards but seeing it in the middle it definitely makes a difference and I do have a six and seven eighth inch wrist and it, I'm sure it's gonna wear very similar to like the flus let me show you um, let's put it on I have not sizes um, but it should fit very similar to the flus 43 millimeters like I said in 51 millimeters lug to lug I don't think it looks bad but if I'm being honest, I think obviously if we put it on a leather or cell cloth, cell cloth strap, it will look uh, probably smaller and it will fit me a little better. I think anybody with a seven and a half, maybe eight inch rinse, wrist, I'm sorry, could get away with wearing it with uh, with the bracelet. But you know what? I do wear the, the flus with the bracelet and I think it looks very nice. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. Not bad. Now, if the spinner grabber decides to make these in uh, 39 millimeters, I am in because that is my sweet spot. 39, 40 millimeters, that is my sweet spot. But anyway, guys, uh, go check them out. Really cool watches. I recommend Spinnaker. Everything that I've checked out from them has been uh, quality, has been top notch for the price. I do recommend them. And if you haven't already, please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you so much for all the help and all the subscription, uh, all the subscribers so far. And if you haven't already, go check out the SoCal Watch Reviews podcast in my Instagram account at SoCal Watch Reviews. So, anyway, guys. Thank you so much for your support, and as always, stay humble.